Sean led to the Naples losing his mind and pulling the face mask of a Sean that led to that five minute major and eventually two power play goals. Long combinations and deep end pairs in the lower right hand part of your screen earlier. Penn State playing without their top line center Ben Copeland who's got a lower leg injury tonight necessitating some line changes. Huge stop by Jared Moe on Danny Janiev. Janiev last night was in the middle of some things. Three shots on goal. Here is another for Janiev. Stopped and eventually McEckern picks it up and pots it. Connor McEckern, his 11th goal of the season, created by Danny Janiev, and Penn State a minute 43 is on the board. Into the weekend, third in the Big Ten in goal scored. Had a four game point streak snap last night, but there he picks up the loose change. Minamoto was backpedaling with a puck on his stick. And then just didn't keep coming with it, and a chance at DC foul. Major penalty that wasn't initially called. Well, here they address the crowd in the stands, saying that Gadowski is seeking to uh, get a video challenge of not the goal necessarily, but that Wisconsin was offside on the play. Johnny Ev at 143. Upon further review, the play was offside. Yeah. We have no goal. Penn State retains their timeout. Oscar Audio, older brother, has also played for the Nittany Lions. Turnaround shot by McMenamin, stick save made by Moe. Top line centerman position, he was replaced on the second line by Danny Janiev, who sets up McEachern's goal to give Penn State the early lead, and now... Penn State is playing at their tempo, and they have the early lead. And off the draw, Kevin Wall's shot kicked out by Moe. State offside, so Wisconsin has the puck, and here's Gorniak now. Slides it to Caulfield. Backhand pass intended for DeSaint Valley. Got it, lost it, got it back from his knees, and kicked out by Audio. Good opportunity here. And I think at this point last night, you would have said you don't convert a chance like that. Tried to slide a pass to Gorniak, broken up nicely by Jimmy Dowd Jr. and then Lodge wiped out by Tyler Gratton and here's Wall now. Deshaun wants to refeed Wall. He got his backhander on it and scored. Ben Schoen to Kevin Wall. It's 2-0 Penn State. And he's got an easy tap in and the Badgers fall two down in the first eight minutes. Kevin Wall, Carolina Hurricanes sixth round draft pick a few years ago. Eight goals as a sophomore last season. He's now got 11. As and the shots on goal on the bottom left of your screen tell you really all you need to know about who's dominated the first half of the first period. Now a collision at the Penn State blue line. And down is Corson Kuhlemans. It appears that he's okay. Momentum of this first period. Previous play is under review. Kuhlemans reaching for it. And Wall leans in. And oh, that's a five-minute major. And Kevin Wall's going to be done for the night. Rolls towards Oscar Audio, who calmly just played it off his stick, gathered in by McLean, who fires a wrister at Jared Moe. He gloves it and taps it off. Here's Lodge, D. Sane foul. Here's Gorniak looking back door. Johnson had a chance. Bantle slams it in. Much needed power play score. Watch him move the puck, a diagonal pass. Then it goes to the back door. Bantle has trouble controlling it. But takes his time and puts it in the net. Badgers have had the lead. They're still on the power play. Ill-advised, intended for Caulfield, intercepted by Paquette. One-on-one -on -one with Lodge, and Paquette turns the corner and takes it right to the net. It slid off his stick, and Mo had his pads together, making sure that puck did not go in the back of the net. Looks like the Badgers have picked up their pace a little bit. Now here's Zach Erdahl. Erdahl leaning in on Dowd, hard to the net, ran into the gold center, lost the puck, and it pops free near side, and here's Pilowitz hit from behind by Gratton. Still going at it with the same foul, and now Jared Moe almost knocked that puck into his own net off the stick. Highly thought of, and here's Johnny a beautiful stick handling move around Corson Kuhlemans, and boy, Jared... He's a good-looking player, Johnny Ev. He's had a great series. Yes, he has. Here he is again. Turnaround shot right off the face of Mo. They're giving up almost 3.3 a game. And if you're offensively challenged as Mo snags that long-range shot by the Naples. Braden Morrison tied up with one of the Nittany Lions. That's Carson Dick. They finally separate back in the Wisconsin zone. Four on four for a while here. And a turnaround shot by Bantle. Low right, right through the blue paint. Here's S. Nice thought. Lost the puck. Penn State's Kerwin with it. Look out. Shot save. Rebound. They score. Ben Schoen 
inserted as the top line centerman tonight because of an injury to Ben Copeland shown as a goal and an assist a 3-1 Penn State lead Kerwin Johnny on the spot to get the the rebound or to me shown them mm -hmm. gets the goal those late goals are killers Penn State will take it maybe a 3-1 lead to the locker room but offers up a big rebound here and again Pass to the slot. Oh, nice catch that time by Xander Lampa. Excellent hands, but just couldn't finish the play. Badgers only had seven attempts in the first period, two from the quality shot area. Penn State had 26 attempts, eight from the quality shot area. There's another good chance. Inamoto tried to keep it in the zone unsuccessfully. Now McMenamin backside Johnny M, and he scores. 4 1, Penn State. Danny Zhaniev. And, and they again get a goal in the first minute of a period. You saw it there. Mo didn't have much of a chance or much help. And they convert the odd man rush. It's four to one. Here's McKecker now for Penn State. Quick backhander. Pretty good steam on that shot from the right circle, but Jared Moe able to snag it and hang on. Kerwin, though, beat him to the puck. Good play, and it bounces out of the Penn State zone. Then Johnson tumbles down. Here's Sarlo on the attack. He shoots one pad save made by Moe. UW Stevens Point National Championship team of 1989. Tim Coglin. There's a shot on goal and stopped by audio. But you wouldn't be able to tell by the way they practiced the last couple of weeks, and finally they feel good about result last night and tonight now they're getting beat 4-1 and a penalty coming up here after the shot from the right wing by Carson Bantle. Baker's got it and he'll come out with speed or at least he'll hope to. Pass behind to Sean. Nice play to kick into his forehand. He's got it ahead now to Baker. Drops it down in the slot. Backhand shot saved. Made by Audio. Kerwin tied up there by Kulemans. Pivots away. Tries to center and it's loose in front. Look out. Mo diving back. Did he get a piece of it? Not sure. Now Pillowitz tried to center. Ricocheted out to Dowd. His shot blocked by Brown. Johnson once again. Here's Pillowitz. Tried to roof one. No luck. Goes off of Inamoto, then cleared far side. And Penn State just playing keep away. Phillips flubbed the puck. Badgers forced the turnover. Gorniak in the corner. Jack Gorniak, Caulfield, quick shot, stopped by audio rebound, was there, De St. Val couldn't reach it. It's chopped out by Zhaniev. Kuhlman's back on the ice, Kerr remains. Mo moved it far side, Kuhlman's tried to backpedal to play, lost the puck, McKecker and shoots one, saved by Mo. Still lose, backhander by Carson Dick. Uh, Okotoke Euler, Carson Dick, number seven, he's on side, and a quick shot by the defenseman Dowd, stopped by Mo. Big rebound there, but the Badgers of Sean patiently played it ahead to Stang. Unable to track down the puck, and here comes Christian Berger. Uh, didn't get much on that shot. It got through to Mo, though, and he'll just cover it up. To score a goal this season, and we're now over halfway through the year. Yep. Here's a setup in the slot. McLean tapped it in front. Sarlo stoned by Mo. He's got his right pad down and covers. Dave, it was Mo's biggest stop of the series opener, and he wrecks Sarlo's goal scoring opportunity here. Again, just gets his toe on that one and thwarts Sarlo. Johnson deep. McKechnie. Pass in front for McMenamin. Off his stick, out high. Johnson's shot got through, and Mo put his pads together and made the stop and hung on. Carson Dick tried to, actually Jimmy Dowd tried to center the puck. It eventually popped free in a tough angle shot by McKecker, an easy save for Mo, which was Roman Deschamps empty netter to seal the 4-1 win for Wisconsin. Here's Baker with the puck. 3-4, Penn State players right in front, centering pass, or shot by Baker, almost knocked in by the defenseman Mack. Now here comes Carson Dick for Penn State, four wide for the Nittany Lions. They are on side, and it's thrown in front, Mo with a stop, and he stops another bid from Carson Dick. 33 saves. They saw it to his left, Longquist lost the draw, Kerwin shot in a waffler, saved by Mo. We've seen this all season. Those that have been able to watch the Badgers every game say, and Stang with a sizzling shot at audio, hit him in the chest, and then juggled it a bit before covering. Last night, Wisconsin was pretty good at doing that. Again, I thought they did a pretty good job defensively at keeping Penn State 
shots to the perimeter, but tonight it's been all Penn State. But three and almost four minutes left in the second period. Kuhlman's misfires on a pass. Phillips picks it up for Penn State. His shot, glove save, Mo rebound knocked behind the net. Kerwin in front of the net looking for the loose puck, and it pops free into the paint. And Penn State, which averaged about 37 shots as the game coming in, yep. held to 35 last night. Well, they've already got 40, and we have 21 minutes to play. Badger's season low in shots on goal, 22 and a 3 nothing loss to Notre Dame. They had 24 in another game. Here's Mo with a whirling stop. They fired 42 shots on goal last night, and the Badgers had 74 shots on goal. But here only 12 so far tonight. And a collision as DeNaples goes down. D. St. Fowl will play the puck. And now D. St. Fowl and Phillips shove one another. But Phillips smart enough to pull himself away. And the Badgers are going to be shorthanded when the third period begins. Was had given up seven in 15 previous power play attempts before killing off three straight over the last three games. And we'll see if the Badgers can get the job done here. Who has a goal and also was credited with the secondary assist on Zhaniev's goal early in the second period. So a two-point night for number 29 for Penn State. And he shoots one, and that's waffled away by almost three minutes gone by in the third. 4-1 Nittany Lions. McMenamin, Zhaniev hard to the net. McMenamin is free and shoots one off the chest of Mo, And that seems to have stung the Badgers netminder. You get one and tie in the Senate to overtime is basically your theory. And again, we told you when Penn State scores four goals, they're unbeaten. There's Kuhlemans now. Stops and has some room. Nifty stick handling room for around McKecker. And loose puck and Pantel puts it in. Kuhlemans with a beautiful stick handling move. And then everything kind of fell apart. But it slid towards the cage and Pantel tucked it home. It's... A 4-2 Penn State advantage now. From Michigan Tech introduces himself to the home fans. That's what the Badgers needed to do. Kuhlman's waits, dangles, gets off a shot, and Bandle's in the right spot for the second time tonight. And the Badgers do what they have to do if they're going to mount a comeback. Baked it off the end boards, but too far for Sean. And then Baker directs to Caden Brown for Nittany Lions. Back pass got through. Here's a chance in a moto shot. Saved by Audio. Loose puck. Right goal line eventually gobbled up by Christian Sarlo. He got tied up by Peltonen. It seems, Bill, like Wisconsin's playing with a little bit more purpose here in the third period. Now Pantle just got tripped up, and they're going to take Carson Dick, and Wisconsin's going to get a power play. Pressure the point again, and how's Kuhn the Cough up the puck. And now the Badgers steal. Baker. Kuhlman wants it. Baker wants it too. He shoots. It's stopped. And then the rebound whacked to the far side by the defenseman Simon Mack. Rather than pass, he had two alternatives. And now here's the same foul. Kuhlman shot hit the Achilles heel or tendon, it looked like, of Carson Bantle. They realize, like Bill Brophy does, penalties for power plays 9-2 in this series. Here's a chance, backhander by Wisconsin's Mersh, denied by Audio on the initial try. Brown with a chance, Erdahl lost it. Now Brown's got it again. Erdahl had it, lost it. Carson Dick, who's out of the penalty box, had it, lost it. Badgers on the attack, Caden Brown, sauce to Erdahl, one time shot off the side of the cage. Korniak. Back down deep off the stick of Baker. He turns to try to win it back, and he does. Sets up. Gordiak stopped by Audio, and that's out of play. Goodness. And they angle a pass up ahead, and it'll make its way towards Jared Moe. The Badgers netminder plays it to the corner, right to Connor McMenamin. McMenamin turns and shoots one right into the chest of Moe, and he hangs on with his glove, and a faceoff to come 8.53 left. It's the Ohio State and Michigan State. Shot from the... Left wing stopped by Moe. He got a piece of it and then whacked all the way around and down. That'll be icing again. The Big Ten tournament will go back to best of three on campus first round series where the number one seed gets a first round by. Gratton to Paquette. That puck popped into the air. Stang cancels out Carson Dick. Lead feed Bansel. He's got two tonight. He'll try to shoot and almost went five hole on audio. That young man is feeling right now. He's the trainer. Assesses the damage. Kuhlman's just coughed it up. Shown to Pillowitz. Shown down the lane. Pillowitz elects to shoot. Stick saved by Mo out of play. Lampa will send it in. Sarlo trying to get to it, but Mo paddles it to the far side wall. Badgers knock it to neutralize. 
There's McLean. He took a hit from behind up in the top of the head by Roman is shot. Penn State has one guy in the Physicality. box already. Yep. See that's he went up high with his two hands on his stick and it McKeckern McMenamin backside open shown to the point Mac McKeckern glove saved by Mo and a face off to come. Oh Evan Barrett's Brandon Byro among others on the power play over oh, pass in front Mo got knocked into the cage and instead of the referee on the goal line making the call the referee at the red line at center ice makes the call for 58 seconds and then the Badgers should get a short power out power play for a minute 13 seconds left in the penalty to number 13 Roman is shot and then the Badgers on a power play oh nice play by Baker hard to the net and audio closed the door with his five hole pads together stopped it covered now Caulfield Kuhlman's circles around Paquette's almost lost it now a turnaround shot he scores Wisconsin's within one how is this happening Power play wrister from Corson Kuhlman's and Wisconsin's down one with 341 left in regulation. Kuhlman showing away as a first round draft choice. He dangles by some time to the high slot area. Caden Brown hustling after it. Can't reach it. Kuhlman's back up and a tough angled shot stick save made by audio. 222 left. Dives to the ice and frees the puck for Stang. Tough angled shot. Here's a chance for Johnson. Rebound there. And then Caden Brown followed up, but tumbled down and just couldn't get his stick on the puck. Backhand pass towards the front of the net, and Bantle didn't connect. Badgers keep it alive. Baker empty net. Badgers have an extra attacker. Turnaround shot. Hit the captain. To Naples right in front of the net. Six on five skaters. Badgers with eight, 80 seconds left to play. Now Phillips takes the puck. Paquette shovels it ahead to Dick, who turns it over to Kuhlman's cross ice. Gorniak, 44 left on the clock. Gorniak left circle shoots. He scores! Oh my! We are even in Madison. A remarkable three goal third period as Wisconsin all tied with Penn State. As loud as this that night, and the fans are getting a treat right here as Gorniak ties the game. And this Badger team, which has been offensively challenged all year for the second straight night. Now Anthony Kerr, nine seconds left. Deshaun, his tough angled shot blocked. Back to Kerr, five seconds. His shot blocked. Deshaun's got it three seconds. His shot, he whiffed at it, cleared out, and we're headed to overtime here in Madison. Very entertained in the third period. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget about the goaltender, Jared Moe, who's made 47 saves and gave his teammates a chance to come back. Watch your screen. You're seeing that. Yeah. Here comes Kerwin. He's a goal scorer. Backside, a chance, and DeNaples scores. Paul DeNaples, Penn State's captain, who was kicked out of last night's game. In a fracas with Roman Ashan, eventually led to Wisconsin scoring two power play goals in a 4-1 victory where here is DeNaples getting the game-winning goal in overtime. 5-4. to four. Well, DeNaples is on the ice for his defense. That's his first goal of the year. But in three-on-three, three, he's going to pinch, and he did, and beat Moe. And Penn State blows a three-goal lead but finds a way to win in overtime, and that's a big point for Penn State on the road.